son goes to University of Miami. So we would try to come as often as possible. As you can imagine, being from the north, coming down here was it's like a vacation. And so we were very, very excited. My husband was flying in from somewhere else, and I was traveling with my daughter and her friend. So we were on the plane, and uh, we were just about to descend into Miami. And uh, the next thing I knew, I woke up and I was in the aisle of the plane. The ambulance came and took us to University of Miami emergency room. I woke up in uh, Jackson Memorial Hospital, uh, and I had had cardiac arrest for about 36 hours. Now, I've been doing this for over 30 years, and uh, it's very, very unusual to see uh, this kind of protracted cardiac arrest unless somebody has end-stage heart disease, uh, in which case they never survive. Usually they only revive somebody so many times, and I asked, why did you keep going? And he said, because you kept looking at me and pushing us away and grabbing the tube, and we knew that you were still with us, and how could we let you go if you were still with us? So if you were still fighting, we're still fighting for you. And boy, did they after receiving 150 shocks and having cardiac arrest for six hours, we actually had to put her heart to rest uh, and uh, basically put her on sort of a peripheral bypass system called ECMO. ECMO stands for extracorporeal membrane oxygenation and it is basically the use of a, a miniaturized heart-lung machine to maintain uh, heart function or lung function in patients who have um, severe impairment of their heart or lung. Uh, there are not many institutions that provide this kind of uh, service. We had no time to get the ECMO team here and put her on ECMO support here. So we immediately uh, were able to transfer her to uh, Jackson Memorial Hospital across the uh, street. And me and Dr. Goldberger actually with, uh, were uh, with Ms. Porter in the ambulance, um, still continuing the CPR, and had to shock her again multiple times. Uh, um, to keep her brain uh, perfusing. We were able to stabilize her without the implementation of a mechanical circulatory support system. Uh, we would not have been able to save the patient. It really was a team effort. Uh, literally saved her life. I absolutely um, owe everything to the doctors at UM. They saved my life and um, I owe them everything. It's really been truly amazing to be under the care of such amazing doctors. I took a tour of the ICU at Jackson. I went to the emergency room and I got to meet everyone that took care of me. I mean, these doctors and nurses see so many patients every day. And the fact that they remembered me and remembered everything about my family and that I had two children and that my parents were here is just so touching, so great. I mean, this is literally a miraculous story. It's, it's wonderful to, to see her um, looking strong and healthy and really uh, back to her usual self. The medical care that I got at University of Miami was absolutely incredible and compared to the medical care that I got at home, there's just no comparison. The care here is absolutely remarkable. I would almost love to move to South Florida just so I could be under the care of all these wonderful doctors and nurses that took care of me.